I have here a service running of port, on port 8080 and it returns high, a JSON high. Now the question is how to consume JSON with plain HTTP Java clients. So we could implement our own body handler, but uh, this is somehow complex. So maybe what is a good or what is a pragmatic way to consume uh, JSON with uh, HTTP 11 client? So um, I can ask to get just plain input stream. And uh, so, and what I get back is now uh, I get a response and the body is the input stream. So I could just do this body. So um, input stream is auto closable. So I could actually do this or in this particular case, it does not matter, but in production case, it would be nice to have that. So, and now we have an input stream here. So the question is how to convert an input stream to JSON. So um, what uh, we can do, or what I prefer to do, I just add uh, JSONB. It ships with Quarkus, Helidon is a part of the micro profile and Jakarta E, which is just a single library. And with that, I can convert the input stream into a JSON object. So parse it. So how to do that? So I would just use another try with resources. And uh, what I can do now, I can ask the JSON to create a reader. And the reader would like to have an input stream. So, and the uh, and what I have here is a JSON reader. And uh, now the reader has a method, reader. And the method is, um, gets a reader read object first. What I get back is a JSON object. And now with the object, I can ask the object to get a string. And uh, in our case, it is a message. So just ask for the message. And this should be the message. Of course, I could write everything in a single one line, but uh, maybe it's more readable this way. And uh, I would like to have a message. So, um, so we have the uh, Yasun library and uh, it, uh, we using the Jakarta JSON API is implemented by the Yasun Eclipse parser, which ships usually with Helidon, um, all the micro profile runtimes. And we are using here from plain Java SE. So if I run it, uh, this is the output high. So the first line comes from Visual Studio Code is a bit ugly, but actually we see this high is from, is our message. So we say uh, JSON B and then just run it again and we should see the JSON B high. So it is working.